So in this video, I'm going to show you how I post process images and the process along the way. I want to show you how I post process uh, images and this is, has been a journey as well because uh, I edit uh, pictures a little bit different now uh, from I did uh, for a couple of years ago. I want to show you how I tweak all the things that you can do in Lightroom. I know this uh, isn't like um, just one way to do it because this is how I uh, like to post process and I like the look of my images and my style. So let's go into the computer and uh, I will show you the process. I'm in the develop module in Lightroom. I'm going to edit this picture here uh, that I took last time I was out photographing and vlogging. So uh, the first thing that I'm uh, looking for is how I can compose the image. So I start by using the crop tool here and uh, my initial thoughts here is uh, that the squirrel is looking right at me so I want to have the, um, uh, the crop in portrait mode. So let's just try to compose it. Maybe a little bit more wider on the side here. Okay, I think that looks uh, looks good for now. Here you see the histogram uh, for the picture. And I think it looks, looks okay. Uh, it doesn't touch uh, in the uh, at the end of the highlights or the dark uh, uh, areas here. Um, but uh, when we are adding some contrast, they will um, they will uh, approach more in the edges there. So I think the exposure looks fine uh, for now, and we can tweak it later. Uh, what I'm starting with here now is just to uh, give it a little bit more color. And I use the vibrance and the saturation here. So I just press uh, the arrow up. I just uh, move the uh, mouse arrow just above, so you can see you can see that the, this area here is highlighted. And when it is, you can use the arrow up and down on the computer and just to tweak it. So uh, I'm not a fan of very very. Um, exaggerate uh, saturation and vibrance so I just use plus five and uh, on both of them and uh, also I can try to uh, see if the dehaze will just uh, make it a little bit more contrasty um, because I have this leaf in the foreground here it can be uh, a little bit uh, foggy and, uh, and flat so I just push the dehaze to uh, make it a little bit more contrasty, not much, but that, that looks okay. Uh, the next thing I do, I go over to the detail uh, section here and the sharpening and I usually have a, a way of doing it in 60 of the amount and radius I do uh, plus 1.3 or 1.4 and then it should look uh, pretty sharp here. Masking I don't uh, touch uh, that much because it, it intends to to leave the sharpness uh, not that crispy that I like so if you see here it's softened the edges much more and I, I don't really like that uh, look so I just leave it where it, uh, where it is. I can uh, do a noise reduction on the background afterwards if there is um, some noise that I don't like. You see I've shot it in ISO uh, 1600 and, um, and uh, it's some noise in the background here but uh, that's easy to get rid of. The noise reduction here I don't use because you are then affecting the whole image and the, the squirrel itself will be... Um, uh, unsharp and, and yeah so it's, it's uh, I go and selective uh, control the background of the noise reduction afterwards 
Okay, the next thing I do is just to uh, do a little bit contrast in the curve here. So I just go with the shadows and maybe in the light in the middle between here just to get, you can see the background is lighting a little bit more up. And I can do it with, see if the blacks is uh, doing it for me. Yeah, that was looks good. Uh, the highlight is good. Uh, I don't maybe minus ten just to control the area around here and the area around here um, a little bit, but uh, I don't do it too much. I think this looks good. Uh, the white balance is. I think it's good. You can you can uh, just uh, exaggerate uh, this and see how it's uh, look if you drag it to the to the both of them. But I think it's it was pretty uh, spot on uh, out of off the camera. Then I can try to do a little bit um, uh, vignetting. I like that. What I like when I'm post pressing uh, images there is I don't like to do too much. I like it to be as much as natural as possible. Therefore, I'm not tweaking it uh, really, really far. So here you can see the squirrel has some uh, uh, shell from the sunflower seed here and here as well. So I want to get rid of that. So I just used um, the clone tool here and have it on uh, heal and see if that's going to do for it. And opacity, I do 100. Feather, I do 100. Um, let's just try to see how that's... Maybe I... Um, do the feather a little bit lesser here. Okay, I think this looks okay. I also want to get rid of this hanging here. Okay, that looks great. Okay, then it's gone. And then I can go and to the calibration here uh, because here we can tweak some of the the tones in in the picture, uh, especially the warm tone here. So I can uh, do the saturation of the warmer red uh, primary. Let's see that uh, all the reds in the image is getting a little bit more stronger and also the hue for the, um, the green so I get it more yellowish here. It's not much so I'm guessing you don't see the difference uh, very much but when I'm taking it on and off you can see here it's made a little bit more warmer in the um, in the yellow red area in the background. I also can do a little bit tint in the shadow because I like that contrast with the yellow orange background and the shadow is more blue and magenta look. And that is a contrast based uh, color um, uh, feeling that I really really love in the images. Okay, uh, so Maybe I can try to experiment with the clarity a little bit. Yeah, I like what the clarity did, did with this. This is affecting the uh, middle tones in the image. So you see the reflection in the background here is getting more um, more uh, visible and also it's... Uh, Get a add a little bit more contrast to the picture. 
this contrast here I don't use in uh, Lightroom. Uh, I tend to not like it that much, but um, I uh, I using the whites and the blacks, or I, I can also use the shadow as a contrast um, a booster. So I'm can uh, decrease the shadow here, and that also will affect the contrast. You see what it did here with a with a dark area, the darkest area of the squirrel, it made it more contrasting. So I actually like that the way that this looked. Okay. I don't touch that that much. Maybe I can try to do the the hue is affecting the only the color area, so I'm can try to make it a little bit more orange and yellow in the and red it didn't do that much but uh a little bit there it looks uh quite good now so uh, the next thing i do here is to um to use this um, brush tool here. I love the brush tool in Lightroom. Here you can brush in everything. So what I'm going to do uh, now, I'm going to change the temperature to around 10 and I'm going to uh, choose the highlight to minus five and maybe the exposure as well to uh, minus 10. Uh, you see the area here I wanted to uh, do a little um, warmer and not that highlighted. So I'm just brushing over it here. Just roughly. I don't I don't feather it or mask it and yeah, I do the just roughly. Um, maybe it was too much on the exposure there. Yeah, it was. So I uh, just used the, the highlight at minus five. I think that was good. I can also do it a little bit here. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so uh, I can also try to Take away the temperature here and also only do a little bit of that uh, minus 10 exposure and highlights because it was a little bit bright. Yeah, that was good. And also here on the edges, just a little bit uh, darker here. All right, I think that was looks good. I don't think I want to do uh, anything more of it. But the the next thing I'm going to do here uh, about the noise in the back background here, I can do it uh, two ways. I can do it here in Lightroom. I can show you what I do then. Then I use the brush uh, and take the noise reduction at a uh, hundred. And then I need to uh, take the feather to zero and the auto mask need to be on and just press the O on the keyboard. What it does then is you see the red uh, show up here so you can see where you're brushing in the noise reduction. So you just go around the, the edges here. Uh, I'm just going to do this uh, quickly because it's uh, not cool to see see me do this for an hour. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, this is roughly done. Maybe I do it here and. Uh, foreground as well 
Yeah. And then close it. And there you have it. The background is now uh, had a little bit nice reduction. So it looks better. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, export it. And press export here. And uh, my setup here is I will choose PSD for Photoshop. And I use this is my um, image size when I uh, post it in Facebook or Instagram or yeah for for internet use uh, in general. I don't need three hundred uh, resolution. I use seventy six. Uh, I don't do anything sharpening in this uh, area here because I have already done it in inside the Lightroom and I can also do it a little bit in um, Photoshop as well. So here in this area here I'm choosing open in Photoshop. Okay so what I do that is just press export and then it will open in Photoshop. Here we go. Uh, the first thing I can do I can also show you how we can do um, noise reduction in the background in Photoshop. Then I use this magic tool here and just press shift uh, and hold it and just uh, just uh, click in all this area here. And then I go to this uh, lasso tool and then I can hold uh, in uh, alt key and just take away some of those areas that I don't want to have noise reduction on. So I just uh, go a little bit around. This is just doing roughly. Okay. If I to uh, press shift and go around this area that I want, so that I will have uh, noise reduction, I can do that. And then I can choose the, the mask here. And my setting here is I use uh, 36 here and 3.3 .3 and contrast 20% and um, minus 60% here. I don't know what this area is called in English, but um, then it will refine the edges more. And then press OK and go to filter and uh, noise, noise reduction. And I have it on 9, I think I will do it in 7 here, because I already did a uh, uh, noise reduction in Lightroom. Here I have uh, 24 on uh, keeping the details, and uh, color noise reduction is 22%, uh, and uh, do details sharper is 0%. Press OK, and done. Um, so what I can do now is to uh, go into Sharp and Smart Sharpen. Uh, I have the radius on 0 0.2 and the amount to 50% uh, and reduce uh, noise at 18%. And then it makes a fine uh, sharpening on the, on the squirrel hair. Okay, uh, next thing is to go to adjust and adjust uh, the curve. Here I just press in the area here one time and go down yeah that looks good and this a little bit up here you can see it doesn't do too much but just a little tweak so say a little bit more on the light and I can do a little touch on the dark yeah that that looks good I got a little less curve here, but enough to just make uh, a little bit more contrasty. And then I can go into um, 
uh, adjustment here again and do the color balance and go to the highlight and then it will affect all the highlights here and just press minus one in the yellow here and take the red as well you see the image will get a little bit more warmer and the yellow and the orange uh, is getting um, a little more, more highlighted and if I want I can go to shadow and do that that contrasty thing with the color like see the the shadow is getting a plus one of the blue it doesn't do it too much but enough to uh, to be, make it a little bit more contrasty in the color as well okay I think that looks good I have done it uh, before and let's just go in the side and see here what uh, I did before I'm not sure if it's gonna be the same but let's see yeah it looks like the same maybe a little lesser contrast here than it is there Tell me in the comments below what you like the most, this one here or this one here. It's not much, but you see a little bit lesser contrast here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So uh, at the end here, I'm going to show you how I, I made this frame. So what I'm doing here is go here and this here you can see the shortcut for it i'm not sure if what this is called in english but here is the shortcut and then you get this one here i'm using inches and say here that i want to do 32 and 42. so here is uh, you can uh, choose the color of um the frame here so i'm choosing white okay let's press ok and see how it's uh, gonna be yeah it looks okay uh, maybe i can do a little lesser on the on top and the bottom here so i just go back to this and choose inches here again and height to 41 let's see yeah this looks good and then I want to have my uh, signature. This is uh, the font that I'm using. And that was really small. <laughs> Let's go and change this to 120. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Then I go and transparent a little bit so it's not that visible just uh, fine uh, tune it to the, the middle of the frame here okay this looks good and now I just have to save it in a JPEG and just name it red squirrel Okay, and you have to have the largest file and progress affair and yeah, press OK. That is done. I hope you get something out of it and um, this is how I edit pictures now. Uh, and uh, if you have some questions, just leave it in the comments down below and I try to answer it as good as I can. But until next time, I will see you guys.